Well, morning viewers. Made in flight of a new micro park flyer here. The Volantix Ranger 600. I think 761.2. They refer to it as. Model number wise. We're going to walk back here to the other corner of the field. See how she flies. We need to try to get a. Is that beginner? Nice bird, nice bird. On, can't add no wind now. This last night I tried to fly her and it was not happening. Eight mile an hour winds last night. Yeah, she flies beautifully. Can't complain on that one today. Cannot complain. This one gets a five star out of me. If you're losing battery. Yeah, we're going to come in for a landing. Beautiful landing. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're going to test it out. This is like a 360 milliamp battery that comes factory. I have some, uh, some, uh, larger batteries than I had purchased. And I'll show you over here. And I'm going to see how it's going to be able to handle it as far as being nose heavy or anything like that. But let me set this all down and... <clears throat> We'll look at what I got. See? Factory battery. 3.7 at... I can't read, sorry. 360 milliamp. And I purchased some of these 3.7s at 600 milliamp. Quite a difference in size and weight. So, <clears throat> we're going to see how she flies. Because I'm hoping I'll be able to use these bad boys. Because I bought coming a, a pack of five. Um, pack of five with a little charger that charges all five at the same time, which is awesome. So, we're going to see how she handles the weight. Well, folks, we're up again. About half throttle. Cruising there, the Volantic 600 Ranger 761-2. Might need a little trim to the left. Bring her down in close. A little closer for you. I don't like those trees being in my background over there. It scares my vision a little bit with that trees being in the backdrop. She's a little wobbly with that with the bigger battery 
no doubt. Definitely nose heavy with the 600 milliamp battery there. Real wobbly. And I do believe it's because of the weight of the battery. I would assume. See the wobble? Might be getting a little windy too. But she flies, boy. She will fly. Sorry about the narration again. Like I said, I don't talk too much. I'm trying to focus on trimming and all those other things. way out there. I love her. Great little park flyer. Hard to tell on the trim. Not like flying the big uh, Cessna. Come in for a little glide slope landing. <laughs> but yeah, this one, it, it, it's a little nose heavy with that bigger battery, so takeoffs are a little goofy. You gotta get your ailerons up right away because it wants a nose, you know what I mean? But very easy to fly. This kid down here where he had to. See the goggles on oh yeah, FPV. Awesome. I do that with the big ones. Yeah. I haven't tested his limits yet because I don't want to lose control, get out of range or something. But it's only a park flyer. They're meant to fly around a field, you know. Yeah. It says 300 yard range, but I've had it out further than that. 2.4 gigahertz. I'm coming, <laughs> they were climbing there. Level off. Cool. Yeah. Nice 
All right, buddy. Take it easy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's the range. We just tested the height range. <laughs> yeah, getting windy. Getting windy out, folks. A little wobbly, but it's just a light little plane, you know. Yeah, he flies. All righty. Little run by us. All right, I think I'm going to wrap it up for now, maybe. Stay away from them trees this time, huh? Can't judge a distance over there from the tree. That's only half throttle. Actually, it wasn't. Three quarter throttle. There's full throttle. Top speed. Birds chasing. Birds don't like me up there. But yeah, man, I love it, little bird here. This bird, foam bird. It does want to drop. Could trim it up a little bit. Yeah.
stick a gentle landing. There we go. Good flyer. No doubt. 